we've borrowed a traco um and we've got it for just a couple days here at the new homestead we've just got it over here we've got it parked down here in this swell in the bottom of the driveway just for number one it's really the only spot that i can get in here with the trailer We've done a little work over the weekend that, that I didn't film and I apologize for that, but we've just come in here with a shovel. Me and the wife dug up the top of the septic tank because I want to uncover it and see if it needs to be pumped out and cleaned. And we've also found some of the old cast iron drain lines and another one that comes out of the house here. And I don't know what's going on with all this power, but all this is going to get changed out while we're in the process of doing this get rid of all these extra boxes tidy this all up and, and get this up to code so first things first is we've tried to get this this is an old style tank and usually on these septic tanks there's just a little square uh extra lid that you can pop out of the middle here this is an older tank so it has uh you might be able to see this line right here it has about four lids that stack on top short ways across the tank so and it's pretty heavy so we uh we tried to pry it off there last night just to look down in there but we couldn't move it so i'm gonna come in here with the track co and, and hopefully hook it with the teeth of the bucket and just kind of roll the lid over at least that's the plan so it's not as bad as i thought there's a lot of water in there which is kind of what you want to see you don't want to see a lot of uh, just thick material in there um, you want to see some good bacteria breaking down them solids and stuff that you see floating around and uh, the second chamber should be should be two chambers um, I'll probably go ahead and have somebody come out a septic service come out and just go ahead and pump this just so we can check the whole integrity of the tank and see see what it looks like but I may, I may wind up just going ahead and uncovering the rest of the top of the tank. That way we can, we can look at everything and see what it looks like. We've got the septic tank uncovered. We finished digging that out and took the lids off. All except for this first one, we just kind of slid it back here. But we got several problems. I'll have to find out if this is something that can be repaired or if it just has to be replaced. So. So the side of the tank right here on the inlet side is broke and it's starting to want to fall off in the tank. Um, so that'll either need to be fixed or I don't know if that compromises the whole integrity of the tank. That's just something that somebody with a little bit more knowledge on this subject would have to let me know. And the second issue we have, you can kind of see right over here, there's three separate, what are supposed to be uh, holes for the drain field and they're all clogged up with dirt so i mean that goes to tell me that the drain field definitely isn't working the tank has definitely failed at some point in time because the little side over there has a bunch of solids in it and a bunch of dirt and stuff so i'm gonna have to get somebody down here that knows more than i do just to look at it and, and tell me the best option to go so while we're waiting on somebody to show up for that, so we're gonna to try to get in here and scratch this out with the track hoe and pull this back and then clean this up where we can re replace these drain lines where they come through the house.
All right, so we got this one uncovered. Almost underneath the house back there. We got this uncovered all the way back down to the tank. So now that we got this one uncovered and done for the most part right now, we're gonna come just right over here and start working on this one. And uh, we'll uncover it back to that side of the tank and we'll go from there. All right, so I'm gonna try to catch y'all up on exactly what's been going on. So we uncovered a little bit more of the septic system last night in the drain field, the first part of the drain field. And that old drain field was a just a gravel pit, probably a six or eight foot wide gravel pit, maybe 50 foot long or something. It had concrete pipe in it uh, that come out of the septic tank leading into the drain field. And those concrete pipes have deteriorated and failed. So uh, the septic system is definitely not working. So I'm on my way to our local health department here in the county uh, to pull the proper permits to have a repair done on this septic system. And what that will entail is a, a pretty much a brand new septic system, a new tank and a whole new drain field. So we're on our way right now to uh, fill out the paperwork and pay for this permit. That way everything's legal and we're, we're following the proper steps on getting this septic system fixed. I'm not certified to put in a septic system with the state, so we'll get somebody that, that is certified to put in this septic system. That way it can be inspected and everything passes uh, all the proper channels and everything the way it should. So. We'll get this paperwork filled out and then uh, we'll start cleaning up a little bit around the house. That way the inspectors can come out and measure out for a new tank and the new drain field of where it's gonna go. So we got back from the health department. We got everything squared away on our end for that. We're just waiting on the inspector to come out and check out the septic tank and the system, make sure everything is good on their end. They're gonna lay out where a new tank and a uh, new drain field is gonna be. So we just run to the house with the trailer and we got one of our tractors. This is a Massey Ferguson 135 diesel. And we've got a couple places to bush hog uh, here in the front yard and then down below the barn on the other side. I'm afraid we're gonna run into some problems with getting a new drain field in just because of the system that I want to put in requires a certain amount of space and it has to be so far away from the pump house, so far away from the house itself. There's a creek right down there that has to be so far away from. So we're kind of limited on the area that we can put this new system in. So I brought the tractor over here to bush hog some, just to open this up a little bit. We can shoot some elevation. The inspector can see everything that he needs to see. And then that way, uh, hopefully we'll be good on the new septic system. So we're gonna go right out here through the barn and bush hog a little section just below the barn uh, that's relatively flat to uh, see if the drain field might can go there. And then we're gonna come over here in the front yard, this uh, grown up pasture area and clean some of it up. All right, so that only took about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, just this little small area here. We've got all this cleaned up right here underneath the power lines, all them briars. One of the reasons I wanted to open this spot up, you can see that the septic tank's just, I don't know, maybe 75 feet right up there. So it'd be a good little spot to put the drain field right here, as long as it's far enough away from the creek. I don't know exactly how far it needs to be. I think what I'm gonna do now is Bring the traco in here and pluck up some of these little trees, clean that fence line off, and just clean this up a little bit. That way the inspector can, you know, that way he can see real good what's going on and, and what all is down here. 
and uh, there's a couple little dead stuff that's across the creek right there that I want to pull out and a brush pile right there that I couldn't bush hog around. All right, so the other day we come and bush hogged the little spot down here so the inspector could see. Um, I was afraid we might have to put the septic system down here. So we got all this bush hogged and everything just because it's not that far away from the tank, like I said earlier. We also had cleaned a little spot out here in the front yard because it's kind of level and flat and uh, elevation would work good for that. We had cleaned that up, but the inspectors came and they've actually laid it out right where I wanted it. Just right out here through the front yard, three lines that come directly from where the new tank's going to sit right here. And the new lines are just going to wrap out through the front yard. So that's going to work out really well. It's been really rainy, so we haven't been able to get any work done. But I did get a pump truck in here to pump the tank out. So it's pretty pretty clean, clean enough that we can we can do what we need to do with getting the new tank in here. So as of right now, I'm really just waiting on the weather to cooperate so that we can dig this out and a truck with a septic tank can back up through the front yard and get in here to set the new tank in the in the new hole. So we're just waiting on the weather and uh, we can get that done and then finish up on the well. Um, because with the new drain line running through here, I'm going to have to reroute my water lines. It's coming from the well house down there. They used to come just right up through the front yard. So I'm going to have to figure out something else with that. That's why we haven't done anything else with the well. It's kind of, we're waiting on the septic system, but get done first. That way we can uh, route the water line into the house away from the drain field. So appreciate everybody watching. If you're enjoying this, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out a whole lot. And uh, we've got a lot more coming here at the new homestead. So we're starting a new project on the inside. We're uh, not really adding on, but we're doing, doing some pretty big projects in there. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, we'll see y'all in the next one.